it's time to turn our attention to the baseball to the Speak, sport that's been causing us problems. Speaking of not having a pulse, I'm just going to jump into this because I know you're going to jump yeah, into this anyway. Let's do it. Uh, Rob Manfred tweets her coming back out, which wasn't that long ago, uh, about how he said that if Oakland A's were to ever leave the Oakland market, it would be a travesty to baseball and MLB as a whole. Just want to point that out that he did say this quoted. Oh yeah, he said it pre-pandemic. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was 2019 yeah. when he was out here uh, for the divisional round, I believe it was. Well, yeah. now that I've set the tone and I've served it up, go ahead, boys, take it away here. All right. So the city of Oakland and the Athletics have had talks. Uh, they had talks on Thursday to discuss a possible lease extension. Reports say that that it went well, and Oakland would like a guarantee to keep the colors logo and get an expansion team. And Fisher would have to sell his half of the current site as well. And there's a lot of other different wants that both teams are asking for. So um, it's you, you, I, I never expected them to come out with an agreement on the first meeting. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see where they go from here. I'm I mean, here, I heard uh, that yeah. there's a pressure being put on the A's from MLB to figure out where they're going to play. And we kind of heard the frustration coming through uh, the commissioner when he was saying, oh, they're going to play out West somewhere. <laughs> you know, the Las Vegas site is adequate. Um, yeah. You know, so there's pressure, there's pressure uh, on, on the A's because the scheduler makers, you know, it, it takes a lot of brain power to figure out a baseball schedule, traveling, makeup dates, things of that nature. So, I think I read that that needs to be solved by uh, by June or July of this year, that they, they need to have not just the next season, but the next few seasons in place to really uh, figure this out. Yeah, I, I would imagine wherever they're playing in 25 is where they're going to be playing in 26 and 27 as well, no matter what, no matter where it is. Like, I I feel like that this is they're going to lock that down the next three years wherever it ends up being that's what it's going to happen in here and it has to be done now basically they got to get it figured exactly. out before opening day realistically exactly they need to get this solved um they 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 release the schedule in july but the schedule is usually completed completely done by uh by april or may by may i think so they really need to have this finalized and settled ideally in the next couple of weeks but... can you imagine get one like one of those little uh pocket size pamphlets with mm -hmm. like the a schedule and every and it's single just says, it's just every says tbd yeah. <laughs> yeah and uh, i mean every single one yeah so uh, like uh, if you're um you know a, a yankees fan and you get your little pocket square it says oak but it's like an asterisk and it's down below it says maybe like <laughs> and like on the back side is like it's like the promotional nights and it was like your guess is as good as mine <laughs> yeah against the oakland parentheses question mark <laughs> um yeah uh so so it's just a total mess as we've described several times and john fisher just needs to sell the fucking team i wish he would yeah, yeah. did I you wish guys he would. did you guys hear about uh jeff passon was on uh part of your interruption yeah oh yeah yeah talk about this and uh actually if you guys there's no music on it so we can we could share it it's we won't get in trouble tim we'll give me the powers <laughs> i need the powers to share tim you should have the powers all s there you go all right all right you guys see that yep, yep. I'll make this full screen. I just love uh, Jeff Passon's laugh in this. Um, I'm not hearing it. Are you hearing it? I think we'll get audio. Oh, let me. You know what? I think I got to do it a different way. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'll just I'll just end this share. Um, basically, uh, Jeff Passion uh, summarizes that uh, if this deal to Vegas doesn't come come to fruition that is not really a surprise to anyone because the one thing about uh john fisher is he's been nothing but unorganized you know th there's no plan there's nothing that's gonna he hasn't followed through on anything um uh, there was the announcement of san jose fremont laney college uh las vegas 
that's starting to show signs. And now one of the biggest things is that the Las Vegas fan is starting to lose a lot of interest in it because the team is not very good. They're going to come in lackluster. They're not developing the minor leagues. They're like dead last in minor league talent. Um, they have no players signed. Like there's no free agent signed on this current roster. That's going to be beyond. So what are you building? Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you yeah. doing? Literally the only person on the team currently under contract in 2025 is the manager is Mark Kotze. That's it. <laughs> I mean, they got a couple of guys that are like, um, they, they have control, like, uh, you know, like through arbitration or whatever, but th- like those guys don't technically have a contract for 2025. It's it, it's bonkers. It's, it's just sad fucking that bonkers they, that they send Mark Kotze, the manager out there to answer questions about the stadium and relocation where he can't even answer questions to talk about baseball, talk about development of his team. He can't talk about balls and strikes. He can't talk about the game of baseball. They have PR people who won't answer questions or respond on Twitter. They turned off all of their comments on all social media. Like they're pathetic. When Jeff Passon is on ESPN, like making fun of you guys, like that's a problem. I mean, this video on the, on the site that I'm looking at is 107,000 views. And that's only from this person's site. Like, so collectively on, on other social media sites, how many times this has been seen. And I don't know if you guys have got anything more on well, the A's. I, I think I tweeted to you guys or texted you guys. I said, yes, more national media of this, please. Like, give us that's on ESPN. Like, give us more of that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard about this, but earlier today, I saw a video of Ken Kendrick, the owner of the Diamondbacks, coming out and saying that uh, it's a possibility that the Arizona Diamondbacks relocate so it, it's not just the diamondbacks it's their stadium's like six years old no it's it's no older it's, than it's that. actually it's it's, yeah, it's a lot older than it, that 1998 when they started playing yeah. like that's when the, they, they they got the new stadium but didn't they get like renovations onto it yeah no, no they, they, they want renovations yeah they want oh. renovations they, they want renovations for yeah or they're asking stadium. for a subsidy you know they're ask they're asking for money from the government from the city and i think they I would have to check the notes, but I think, uh, I, you know, it's close to a bill to what they're trying to develop, uh, which Ooh. is just, it's just ridiculous. So, you know, there's other teams that are going to start doing the same thing that, that John Fisher and Dave Cavill have done. You know, they just want government money. They want to hand out other than sports. I, I can't think of any other businesses that just have their hand out openly for oh, no, every uh, single it, thing. Yeah, uh, there, I mean, there's a lot of like fuel. I can like, name Exxon, one like, gas person and... in particular. We're not a political uh, podcast, but he uh, wears the color orange because that's his skin color. Oh god, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out here selling four hundred dollars shoes. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> and he spent twenty four dollars on. And oh, and uh, apparently, the red on the bottom that's trademarked by like Christian Louboutin. Apparently, it sure so is. He, he might get sued for that. Oh wow. So the shoes that he's selling to try to get rid of his bed or whatever, he's going to get sued over them. But to me, I mean, to your point though, is is that like, yeah, I like has got to be the only one that, that, that is an anomaly here. Right. But like what, when's the lot? And if anybody who's listening can tell me, by all means, correct me, but I can't think of the last ownership who well, fronted like up a, their own money like the that. The Giants did it, and baseball doesn't want you to know about the Giants. Um, so if you look at the A's when they present data, they presented a bunch of uh, data, um, a slideshow to Las Vegas, which was the recycled slideshow from months mm-hmm. and months ago. Yeah. And they showed all these stadiums that were subsidized by the government. It ended the year before the Giants stadium because the they don't want that data on there. They don't want people to know right. that the Giants built that themselves. Right. Uh, so, uh, oh, go ahead. This is going to be a, another problem with the Chicago White Sox. The Chicago White Sox are going down this path of uh, they want over a billion uh, to get a new stadium, uh, you know, build out for for what they're trying to do. And they're trying to build it on the, the Chicago Loop. 
If they don't get that, they're threatening relocation. So there's there's many, many teams. And going back to Rob Man- Manfred's uh, dumbass comments where, you know, he was also quoted in saying that, um, you know, well, if the A's move, it's not like there's another team in the market. So he's he's insinuating that you could just be a Giants fan. Can you imagine telling Chicago, well, if you if you were a White Sox fan, you could just be a Cubs fan. So I think like any two market. Yeah. We yeah, said that. We city. said that too. That's it's like just moving, nonsense. It's like moving the Yankees and being like, "Oh, but you could be a Mets fan." Yeah, be a yeah. Mets fan. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, um, I, I just looked it up for Levi's Stadium, and uh, the, the there was about 114 million dollars in public money for Levi's Stadium. So, um, and it sounded like uh, of that, uh, 35 million came from new taxes uh, on hotels near the stadium. So, like, if you stay at a hotel near the stadium for you know, a football game or a concert, two um, percent tax hike on that helped pay for Levi Stadium. About thirty-five million of the hundred and fourteen that was public that was given. So even the Niners like definitely took some public money, not nearly as much as as a lot of the other teams, which you know makes me feel less angry a little bit. But I'm still not thrilled about it. You know, um, and Santa Clara is not a huge city at all. They they happen to be right next to San Jose, but Santa Clara itself is really tiny, you know? So. Right. Yeah. And I, and I just think that, um, I just think that the, the giants made their money tenfold, you know, Joe Licka made his money tenfold. I mean, you could even argue that the four days have already recouped everything they put into the stadium. Oh, yeah, absolutely. By absolutely. now. I mean, mm-hmm. having a Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift concert uh, yeah. recouped, at least six oh, months worth. <laughs> oh, just the Taylor Swift concerts this year helped cover a lot of it. I mean, she's yeah. done concerts before in the 1989 tour and the Reputation tour, um, uh, to like you know at that stadium as well. So, uh, and, and she's not the only one. Like Ed Sheeran and Beyonce and all these people come in, and every time they come in, there here comes seventy five thousand more people. You know, yeah, and all that money. I just it, it's crazy to think that you have such spineless commissioners, you know, and I'm not going to say that the NBA's commissioner or, or the NFL's commissioners is any better, but they're, they're at least, if you're going to rank them way better than, than the MLB commissioner of of the, of the top four leagues. Yeah. Uh, Manfred is definitely the worst. I think, um, Goodell is evil, but he's actually kind of good at his job. Gary Bettman uh, is a little is I think is a little worse than Goodell. I think I think we're all in agreement that Adam Silver is the best, but even if yeah, you're the think... best, you're, I mean he's he's not a people like he's not a public person by trade. Like he's more of a you know uh, he was more of a behind the scenes guy before he became commissioner, and he's learning how to do the uh, I think with the public Batman, facing though, stuff. I think with Batman, he he's not the best public speaker as well. Like he kind of mm-hmm. comes across as like a cold individual right and, and yeah. um uh, yeah but i would say that like as far as like teams relocating and, and, mm-hmm. and things of that nature he has tried to keep teams in market uh well there has he been has relocation, now yeah you know uh but you know he tried he the last uh negotiating thing you know it, it bettered the game it brought salaries into affordable range of hockey and, and what they were rev you know what revenues they were making um, so I do think since that lockout season, NHL has gotten better um, financially. It seems like it's on a a better foundation. Um, yeah, I mean they're t- they're already talking about um, expansion to thirty six teams. Right. So I, I think there's um, there's some goodness there, uh, but the worst is absolutely Manfred, and it's not even not even close. Like he's yeah. everybody's. <laughs> A cut above him. I, I will say uh Gary Bettman, like at, at least early, like teams were moving, like Winnipeg got moved yeah, yeah, to Phoenix, that. and that was a huge problem. And uh and, and like like uh Hart Hartford going to Carolina, like he, he's responsible in earlier in his tenure for a lot of teams moving further south to try to get into like non-traditional markets. Right. And I just don't uh, that think was Manfred was challenge. ever a fan. I don't think he was ever a no. fan yeah. of baseball yeah. as a child, as a kid, as a young man. He didn't have anything passionate uh, to root for in baseball. I think he was a guy that took a job, got paid well, and stuck with it and became the commissioner of baseball because he's a shrewd businessman. He's an asshole, yeah. and he probably knows it, and he's good at it. Um, but, I mean, he called yeah. the, the trophy a piece of metal. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, hey, he every the slap year. on the wrist for the fucking Astros. Well, I think he, I think he's just he's also the poster child for yes man. Like, at least NFL's got Jerry Jones. As much as we gripe on him, but like that, he polices other owners, right? You know, in the NBA, the commissioner there polices the owners. Like, no, you cannot do that. Like, if I tell you that we're going to change the rules because your team is winning too much or whatever, right? We may hate it, but like, at least he's doing it. You know, like he's trying to make it more competitive across the board, right? He's trying things, right? Manfred don't give a crap. Manfred is like, how can I make these owners more money, which keeps me more in in my job of being the commissioner there's right. no hey, cool. policing of each other hey sam uh, what if i told you in five years i got you a birthday present i saw that <laughs> <laughs> um rob manfred's last day will be uh at the end uh, near the end of january in 2029 so uh happy birthday five years from now bud yeah yeah <laughs> i wish but he's was, also i he's wish gonna get renewed here He's gonna no, get renewed. No, he, he no no. He said that retire. it's gonna. He he, he just it just came out. He said he's going to retire at the end of this this term. Uh, in, in the beginning of twenty twenty nine. I'll believe it when I see gold shovels in the ground for the for the A's. No, he's yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there's there's gonna be something. There's gonna be some final thing happening. With if Las Vegas ends up failing, I think John Fisher has to sell. I mean, I know this is wishful thinking and this is hopium or whatnot, but. I don't think if Vegas works out, I like like he's basically put it all on Vegas at this point. And if yeah, it ends I, I up would failing, ag- I would agree that that anyone who's hoping for him to sell, please do not have your hopes that the uh, team's exactly. in Oakland. Yeah. It, it's a very good chance he's going to sell to you know a group in Vegas and they keep that team in Vegas and it, they make it work. You know what I mean? Because they've already got pool there. So don't have your hope you on that high oh up. no no definitely not no my I, I... my closing comment in on the whole a's and baseball thing is you know with the the meetings with the city of oakland and all, and all that is i really hope the city just doesn't sign an extension to keep them here and let i think they're paying like a million and a half per year in rent and they just sign an extension for say 12 million we're going to get 35, 40 million out of the, out of this for the next three to four years. And then that's it. Like to me, that's just, yeah, that's not, not enough. You it's know not what? It's not enough. Take your money, pack your shit, get out. If, if Las Vegas is a done deal, don't sign the lease, you know, mm-hmm. no team, no lease, get, get out. You know, yeah. the, the better that we can separate as a community, we need a clean breakup. We need to move on. We need to develop the site. Oakland needs to redevelop itself and do something. Um, I'm not here to, you know, uh, paint Oakland as this perfect uh, city, but we need to move on. You know, if you ain't going to be there, we're moving on. And yeah. the the city, the city needs to do that from the mayor, the uh, deputy mm-hmm. mayor, the, the negotiators, all the council people. You cannot give into this. Move on. Absolutely, and. I mean, and one of the things that they're holding out for is the the team name and the team colors staying in Oakland, uh, along with getting an expansion. I mean, I think that's the piece you can get. You can reasonably like you go in there asking for that in a negotiation. That's the piece you can give up uh, in your talking back and forth. If you right. still get a team, if you still get an MLB team uh, expansion team after that. I don't give a damn if they're called the A's at this point or not. Exactly. Like, exactly. like that part's not important. Um for history nerds out there, it's like when, uh, or musical theater fans, it's it's like when ha- uh, Hamilton and Jefferson negotiate where to put the capital versus how the banking system will, will go. Um, Hamilton gave up, you know, the capital being in New York, but to keep the financial stuff like the way that he was designing it. So he gave up something. It doesn't really matter where the capital is because the banks are where in New York. So that's right. it, it, that's kind of how I'm seeing it as a sports and theater nerd so <laughs> yeah okay. that's true yeah absolutely absolutely but i, I know we got one more thing on baseball here um, yeah totally you know, s- switching gears totally different i Jorge mean Soler. we're in the same uh market uh bay area wise right um, yeah so it doesn't matter right we can just be <laughs> giants fans out of nowhere uh yeah Jorge <laughs> Soler to san francisco for three years 42 million dollars i guess i mean he was great in miami for like a half a season 
Um, yeah. He had that year with the Cubs, uh, I guess. Uh, well, uh, he was the uh, MVP of the um, of the uh, of the World Series with Atlanta. That's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he 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 got hot at the right time, and uh, he he has thirty home run power in him. All you I'm know, saying is the Giants it, have a lot more money to spend, and, uh, yeah, and this is what they got. So. It'll be the if, if he hits thirty home. Well, runs they got this year, Pablo. They signed. Pablo. He's on a minor Pablo's league deal. Yeah, the yeah. Chance to the make a, a training camp. Yeah. yeah. So Panda I mean, Pro. but if if Solaire gets thirty home runs, it'll be the first time a Giants player has got thirty home runs since Barry Lamar Bonds. He's not going to get 30 home runs. I don't think he's left-handed. He's right. But the, no, but the, the fence, they, they pulled the fence in. Yeah, but and even still, like... He, I think 30 home runs is possible if he's healthy. If he's not healthy, it doesn't matter because that's been a kind of an issue as well for him. But if he is healthy, he has a shot at 30. I would, I would say their, really best, does. their best right-handed hitter was Buster Posey. And, he, and I know that the fence was a little further back. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Well, All I'm also, saying is that you got a better chance at left field in trying to dink that into the water for a 30 home run season. No, no, you don't. Are you kidding me? That that fence is so astronomically high. It was built for Barry Bonds and nobody else. Just dink it high. They yeah, all swing up it? anyways. I think like Barry Bonds has all splash hit. Almost with, all of them. Yeah. With the exception like, of like two or three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, well, I mean, I think he, well, he's, it, it, that's, that's an exaggeration. He, I think he still has 45 or 50% of them. Um, but, but also, they, they, they a, just got to 100. So, and he hit like 50 of those bad boys yeah. himself. So, also, as a left handed batter in Giants Park, like, yeah, it was built for Barry Bonds, but so was that, th- that the, the, the deep corner, like, that was built for left handed hitters. That park is, if you were a lefty, you got a good chance of at least like leading the, well, it's good doubles. for, it's good for extra bases. It's not good for home runs, though. I guess that's that's the difference. Like they, it. We'll see what happens, but I, I think he has a shot at thirty. He has a, he, if he's healthy, he has a shot at thirty. And that, like I said, that would be the first time since Barry. So the Giants haven't had a thirty home run hitter uh, in a year. He's their Barry. best chance to get. He's their best 30 chance to get thirty since Bonds. 